So I believed a lie about medical school for far too long. When I learned that this thing, it was not true, or you don't have to do it, my whole experience shifted and I started enjoying medical school that much more because it was practical. Let me explain. When you first enter medical school, they teach you things at medical school. They teach you histology, they teach you anatomy, they teach you cardiology. What do you do with all the information that's presented to you by the medical school? You study it, right? Everything that they give you, you absorb it. I want to study this, I want to study this, I want to study that. That was very difficult because I always had the question to all these professors, how much do I need to know? Do I need to study 100% of this? 70%? 30%? Sure, man. I'm trying to change your perspective on something very, very important in medical school, and that is what to study. Here is the question, the very thought-provoking questions that I need you to ask yourself. How much of the information that you learn now, you won't need when you become a doctor? 20%? Can we say 20, 30% of the information that you learn now, you're probably never gonna use in your life, right? And that is a huge problem because you're basically studying to forget. When I become a doctor, I'll probably work with a histologist. I know for myself, I'm bad, I'm never gonna become a histologist. So why should I know how they look like under a microscope? If there is someone, if I know I'm not going to study histology and I know that I'm not going to work under a microscope and I know that someone will give me a report with everything I need to know about a certain condition from a biopsy. Hello doctor, here's the report for what I found, do with this information as you will. And then you look at the report and it says, okay, so this is this, this is that, this is the flattening of the villi, whatever, right? The only thing you should know is interpreting the results of histology. This is a very specific example, but I want to show you how to think about studying medicine. When you want to study medicine, you don't just go all out, I want to study everything, let's go. You know, even though it's assessed, I know it's assessed, but why do you need to know that? You might say, Abadi, what should I do? What should I do, man? There's no way I can not study this information, even though I know that I'm not going to use this information. I have to study it for my exams. If you are wasting your time studying something that you will not use for the sake of getting a grade that will not benefit the people that you're trying to treat, then what are you doing? Why do you go and you stress about an exam? It will change my life. No, it won't. Trust me, no. I'm someone who got three C's and by the grace of God, I end up in medical school. The grades don't decide where you go in the long run. Trust me, they don't. They don't have no impact on your long-term career as a doctor. If your goal is to become a good doctor and help people and change the world, you know, really help everyone that comes in your way, then you don't need to don't worry about exams. And they only teach you that information because they wanna give you an all-rounded experience. So what do you do? Don't study it. I don't study it, I'm not gonna fail my exam. You're not gonna fail. If you know the basics, if you know the fundamentals, what you will actually use when you become a doctor, you will not fail. You'll probably get a high grade as well. Don't tell yourself that if I don't get this grade, then I'm gonna be a bad doctor. An A grade and a good doctor, they can correlate sometimes, but it's not an absolute event, okay? So it's not absolute that every student who gets an A grade is a good doctor. You need a lot more things, and you can still be a great doctor even if you don't get an A grade, okay? So they are correlated, but it's not causative. Wow, this is a difficult video. I've never done this before. It was my brother's idea. What I'm trying to say is try to learn the basics very well. Next time you go study, this is what you will do. You will look at a piece of information and you will say, do I actually need to know this to help my patients? Simple as that. This question should underlie the core of everything you study, man. Everything. When you look at information, you say, uh, I don't know if this will benefit me, but I'll still memorize it because it might come in the exam. This is where you stop yourself and you don't study it. Let me put it this way. If you don't know if this information is crucial or not, it's probably not crucial. If it's crucial, then it will be, you won't question it. No one will tell you, oh, you don't need to know how labor works. No, of course you need to know how labor works. Everything, all the details. But you don't need to know, for example, what happens in your spleen when you have labor. That is too much, okay? Dial it down. Understand the basics. Understand how it works. If you don't know if you need it or not, put it aside. Keep it on your radar so that when you see it again, let's say you need to memorize it and you actually need to understand this concept, you study it. Why do you go and you open the page? Oh my lord, this is too long. I'll study everything, come on. It's not like if you don't study it now, you'll never get the chance to study it again. No, you will study it. It makes it so practical for yourself because you know that if you know you have to study something, you're probably gonna use it in the future. When I go to my clinical placements, and I see this information, these basics that I hammered down, it will benefit me far more than knowing these very minute details for tests and exams, okay? Because I know that I studied only for the sake of treating, not for the sake of passing exams. 
the only reason I did this video is because I, I look at medical students and I look at myself and we're so overwhelmed with all this information that 20-30% we're not going to use. So I said, why not just make a video on it, okay? So enjoy your medical school, enjoy your studying. I hope everything goes well for you. And as always, Assalamu Alaikum.